Hi everyone, welcome to Tarot and Nails or welcome back. Thank you for being here. If this reading resonates with you, please like, share, and subscribe. And let's get into your reading. This is a collective need to know. Ooh, that flipped over, but it didn't stay flipped over. Okay. All right, so when we have judgment on the bottom of the deck, okay. So we have seven of pentacles, five of wands, or sorry, six of wands. Mm -hmm. Four of swords, five of swords. Ace of Pentacles, Three of Pentacles, Knight of Swords. Sorry, I haven't used this deck very often. Ace of Pentacles, Knight of Cups, the Tower. Okay. So I see a lot of you leaving a relationship. We don't have the Eight of Cups, but that's the energy that I'm feeling. You put a lot of work into this relationship. But this person, this significant other that you're walking away from, that you're leaving, always, I get the feeling they cut you down vocally. They may have been um, verbally abusive towards you. Okay. You and this person, you see this eye right here? This is like representative of third eye and that's you and that's them and you're separate and even though you're separate you're still intuitively um, connected you still are spiritually um, attached to this person and they're attached to you so even when you're separate you're still together for a lot of you this might be a temporary separation it's going to be difficult because you've got the tower here so you know regardless of whether this is permanent mm. when, regardless of whether this is permanent or temporary it's going to be a shake up it's going to be you know you're going to be separated from this person for a period some of you that's going to be you know forever in this lifetime for a lot of you it's a temporary separation that's necessary for this person to see their own behavior and to see how their behavior is affecting you. So this masculine energy, a lot of you could be um, twin flames, you're getting that energy, definitely soulmates. Um, this masculine energy is incredibly, I don't want to say naive, but mm, just very they had a very different upbringing than um than you and then also very different from what society would consider a normal um upbringing and that's part of the disconnect with you and this person is that their perspective is so on the other end of the spectrum um like when you're thinking one thing they're like on the other side of the world um but because of their unique upbringing they have a hard time explaining themselves they have a hard time expressing themselves emotionally specifically they it's almost like they like to joke a lot to mask their feelings because they don't know how to talk about them they don't know how to process them and in that way they're very childlike and very emotionally immature they don't have a lot of emotional intelligence because of their lack of experiences or their type that were the type of experiences they had as a child within their family dynamic um so this person has a lot of emotional growth to do you know everybody has their own um timing for when lessons are learned 
um, but it's time for this person to accept that they they need to work on themselves and you walking away and being separated from this person is the only thing that helps them understand that the problem is them. So got the seven of pentacles and the six of wands. I think for a lot of you, you're going to really, I don't want to say enjoy the separation because I don't see you being, you know, joyful. There's no happiness or celebration here specifically, but I definitely see you utilizing this time apart to grow, to look inward, to do the inner work that you need to do, which is very minimal compared to this person. Um, but I do see you maybe even starting your own business. Um, putting in a lot of work, it might be with your hands, um, something creative that also makes you money. Um, this might be a side hustle, this might be something that you've always wanted to do. And when you're separate from this person because you don't have to fight them anymore, they're not around, they're you know in hermit mode doing their inner work, you're going to use this time to be very prosperous and to create a new um, revenue stream I'm hearing for most of you in all most of you if not all of you already have um, stable income like you have been reliant on yourself not this person I think for the majority of you you, you had your own finances you had your own hustles um, you're already a very dependable um, financially stable person you like to give everything 100% of your attention. So your person consistently comes through as a knight because this is their energy. You got the knight of swords, the knight of cups. They're not only emotionally immature, a lot of them might be very mentally immature as well. I, I said earlier that this person likes to kind of joke and play off their feelings or, you know, when subjects like that come up, that's how they respond. Um, which you have not found helpful. Um, I think that's been like an issue within your relationship for quite some time. And we've got, again, oh my God, okay. We got the Page of Pentacles here too. So it's gonna take this person a minute. They're, they're all over the place, but they're very slow moving to work on themselves. So don't think that you leave them and then a month later they're good. It's going to take longer. Um, they have a lot of growing up to do in a short amount of time. And it's going to take them a while to open this third eye of theirs, to accept themselves. Um, there's a lot of time that's going to be passed before this person comes back to you. Correct. Um, which is why you have the opportunity here to grow this other revenue stream because you're going to actually be focused on yourself instead of like taking care of this person because a lot of your energy up until this point has been taking care of this person because you understand how connected you are in all the different you know realities but they don't so this is going to take them a while could even be up you know up to years um I'll get some clarifiers out here too in a minute. There's just a lot going on with you. Um, for some of you, you could end up, there could be a fire at work or at home. Um, but for most of you, I feel like it's just going to be a really heated environment that is going to be explosive um, emotionally and spiritually and you're going to need to separate. Um, I don't really see it getting physical, but it could. Um, I feel like it's a, it's a lot of verbal uh, back and forth. Specifically, this person instigating most of it um, and kind of being the culprit with that because of where they're at um, with their emotions. I can remember how these were laid out. There we go. Okay. All right. Let's get some clarifiers here. Oh, geez. Okay, 
That's actually a lot. Oh, jeez. This just came out. I'm not going to take it because it it flipped as I was trying to put the deck away. But this is the tower again. So there's definitely going to be a lot of like upheavals for you during this time. And I feel like for a lot of you, this has to do with where you live. You may share an abode with this person. I mean, this looks like a house, even though these look like stairs. Um, this is going to be difficult, but just know it's more difficult for this other person because at least you have yourself to rely on. This person doesn't. They have to build that while they're away from you. Um, so we've got the Fool in reverse, the Nine of Pentacles in reverse, the King of Wands. Empress in reverse, Queen of Pentacles in reverse, Hanged Man, and the Three of Cups. Hmm. So this person, your person here, I think initially to deal with the separation, they're going to be partying a lot, which I don't think you're going to like. Um, Um, hmm. Okay, so in the time that you're separate from this person, it might be a legal separation for some of you, but for most of you, I feel like you're just, you know, not going to see each other every day. When you move into this um, space of creating your own... Um, revenue stream where you're your own supervisor, your own boss, it's your own business, something about it. You have a lot of, I'm going to try to say, you have a lot of like trepidation, a lot of hesitancy with starting this project. Um, because the fool here you've got in this deck is reversed. Um, but in this deck, it's my owl deck. So you want this to take flight. You want to, you know, run towards this new opportunity. But you're being asked to... Hmm. For a lot of you, you're being asked to be patient with yourself. Um, that, you know, trusting your intuition, knowing that this passion project that you have um, will be successful and not having the doubt that... It won't be. A lot of you are doubting your ability to create your own happiness financially. Um, I don't think you were codependent on this person, but you might have had codependent ideals about your ability to be successful. Like almost like you had a cap on yourself, if that makes sense. Like you thought, oh, I can't go above this level or I can't go in this direction. You had a lot of self-limiting um, behavior. That is the only thing preventing you from really having this whole thing take off. But I do see that you do it. Um, you just need to get over that hurdle of, oh, this won't work. You know, just having those negative thoughts. I also see a lot of you thinking that when you're by yourself, you're not going to be as happy, which is not true. Um... If you can see this, these two cards, the way they came out. So this is your energy. You don't have to be a fire sign, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, but you're definitely a very fiery person, which is why you'll be able to have this passion project of yours actually work. Um, because not only you know are you passionate, but you also have the financial um, backing and stability that you've built up yourself over the years that will make you successful. It's kind of like you're guaranteed to be successful just because of how your personality is. Um, but if you can see in this um, Five of Swords and the Six of Wands, you're looking at yourself. That's you. That's your partner. And that's also you. So it's like, you know, she's looking up. I see that you're thinking about this person. You're thinking about your partner what they're doing, how they're growing, but you know that you need to be separate from them and focus on yourself during this time. King of Wands. Yep, they will come back to you, the King of Wands. They just need time. 
they'll come back to you to match you. I'm really getting like a Queen of Wands energy from you. Could also be an Earth sign, Queen of Pentacles. Um, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, doesn't have to be. Um, yeah, but you're going to see this person come back to you wiser. Like I said earlier, they're going to come correct. They are not joking around when they come back. Um, they, they're going from a page energy to a king. So that's a lot of growth in a short amount of time. I see a lot of you could have potentially lost a baby um, with this person. Or you just lost creativity. You lost that spark because this became super, super toxic for you. Okay. I read this as the Ace of Pentacles. It's not. It's the Four of Pentacles. And then you go from four to the three. Hmm. Don't let people, like naysayers, even if you talk to people um, casually, don't let their opinion of this side project, or if you even choose to tell anyone about that, or just about how you're approaching life, don't let their influence affect you. Hmm. Some interesting energy here. Okay, so you have the em Empress in reverse, Queen of Pentacles in reverse, and the Hanging Man in the upright. You are going to be commended for being incredibly patient while this person does their inner work. And that is going to come in the form of financial um, balance and abundance. Yeah, your person is going to be forever grateful that you were capable of knowing what they needed, letting them do that while leveling yourself up, essentially. Let's get some oracle guidance here to close out the reading for the collective. Ooh. Oh my god, I can't take all those. Okay. We've got, let's see, the silver waterfall, the sacred woman. Like I said, abundance. You're going to be doing fine financially, if any of you are worried about that. Spiritual maturity. So, yeah, again, this person, there you two are, right there. You're going to be back on the path with this person once they're done, once they're caught up to you, because that's essentially what they're doing. I wouldn't necessarily tell them that, but you can <laughs> do whatever you want. But it might hurt their ego to be reminded that they're so far below you spiritually. But the good thing is they're willing to put in the work. Um... That's the two of you right there. You're going to be super, super, super happy, abundant in all forms um, because you are being so generous with this person. You are capable of bringing even more abundance into your life. So it's not just the seven of pentacles over here. You have not only abundance in the material world, but you also have it um, in the spiritual world. You're going to be gaining a lot more because of this situation. So not only are they growing and doing a lot of the inner work, you're growing too. The sacred woman, you're going to become even more in touch with um, your ancestors, your bloodline, your current family members. I see a lot of you potentially going to grave sites or going on trips to visit um, locations where loved ones once lived or um, appreciated. I'm seeing a lot of farms for some of you. And a lot of this might happen, um, you might be like astro traveling or something to do with your dreams, your unconscious, your subconscious mind connecting. Um, your heart space is going to be really important. That chakra is going to be really important for you to get in touch with during this time, especially while you're doing this, you know, inner work, this new passion project while this person, your significant other is, you know, doing their inner work. It's going to be super important that you completely focus on yourself and what your soul needs. And you've got the silver waterfall. Yeah, again, nature is going to be a really, really, really big point. Also taking bubble baths um, might be necessary for like your soul, your body, your mind to all connect is what I'm getting. 
And then the numbers five, nine, one, and seven might be significant. And the name Barbara, Rich, Richie, Dawn, like D O N and D A W N, Trish, Patricia, Road, Rody, might all be significant. But that is what I have for you today. Let me know if this reading resonated. This was an interesting one. The energy was a little bit all over the place. Um, and that is it. I love you guys. See you next time. Bye.